Governor Andrew Cuomo has touted the benefits of solar power as a way to reduce the state's dependence on fossil fuels, create jobs, and educate our students about the importance of renewable energy. One New York school district is heeding their advice. We value our environment, and yes, it's, a, it's a, hopefully going to be a savings for us as far as our costs and electricity, but also opening up the doorway for different career pathways and um, making those personal com connections with the players involved in that has been very beneficial. In July, the Avon Central School District transitioned to a new 7.5-acre solar array. The array, with over 5,000 panels, is the largest of its kind in New York State and now satisfies all of the district's power needs. The dollars that we save, we can put right back into our classroom that uh, provide, you know, and provide for the kids instead of having to spend that additional monies for, for energy. The more impressive piece about it, which was why our board was so interested in looking at renewable energy to begin with, is the tonnage of carbon dioxide that's not put into the atmosphere through this method of generating the electricity. And for our students to be aware of that and to use that instructionally and for our community, uh, that was always huge. Interest in solar energy has been growing steadily for years at Avon Central Schools. We've always had solar as a as important priority, just in terms of the renewable energy. It's a clean energy source in terms of its uh, cost effectiveness. As we look to the future, I think that's uh, the biggest benefit with uh, the projected savings of, we're hoping, over a million dollars over the life of this project. And also the, the educational value, certainly, for our kids to, to represent that clean renewable energy and to be able to talk about it. The district credits its successful implementation of the solar array in large part to its insightful, well well-informed school board. The perfect storm was we have a board that was educated, that understood what it meant through uh, their own educational processes, but also by attending NISBA, uh, the convention, and attending sessions and learning and coming back and having discussions. I'm Casey Nicholson for NISBA News. Join us next time for A Floating Classroom provides students an up-close look at the importance of conservation efforts.